Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week, Microsoft released their latest Windows 11 preview build 23545 to insiders in the dev channel. And as I mentioned uh, with that video I did post, which I'll leave in the description, um, build 23545 didn't include any official new features, but it did include a couple of new uh, bug fixes that are going to be fixing major stability and performance issues in the file explorer which could possibly be rolling out with version 23h2's feature update shortly but if you want more info those are quite important fixes so go check that video out but nonetheless um although there were no official new features it seems that microsoft is busy testing a new feature for the start menu recommended section in build 23545 that rolled out to the dev channel last week now um this is a hidden feature that was once again spotted by the Windows enthusiast Phantom of Earth over on X. And um, hidden features, as many of you may know by now, um, are unofficial features that Microsoft uh, could be testing internally and it could be code and so on that they are testing internally before they actually push it out for official testing. And they are basically features that haven't been enabled yet uh, in the actual OS and um, can be enabled uh, with the third-party app Valve tool. Now, nonetheless, um, as mentioned, um, as we can see from these screenshots provided, Microsoft is testing the grouping of all the recently added apps into one folder in the recommended section, which is currently not the case uh, in the stable version. And I have found the recommended section in the start menu is a feature that you either like or you don't. I personally don't like the recommended section. I actually... Um, hope that one day Microsoft gives us the opportunity to be able to completely disable the feature uh, in settings. But nonetheless, um, although um, a lot of users, including myself, don't find the recommended section actually quite useful, I think that this is a nice move in the right direction and does bring a little bit of order to the recommended, where, as mentioned, um, you can now add all your apps into one folder instead of them being obviously added uh, singularly. Um, in the recommended section. Now, just to go a little bit deeper into this, uh, the recommended section um, already shows your recently added apps, as many of you may know, but they don't appear in a group like we currently see in this screenshot. So this is bringing a lot more organization, as mentioned, and the grouping of all the recently added apps will keep it a lot more organized, which I think is a nice move. So if we head to another screenshot, we can see you click on that folder and there you've got your recently added apps. So... Um, you just basically need to click on that folder and you'll be able to see the list of all your recently added apps as mentioned. So um, as mentioned, this is a hidden feature currently being tested in build 23545 last week's uh, latest dev channel build. And I actually think if this does make its way into the stable version one day, this may bring a bit of functionality and usefulness to the recommended section in my personal opinion. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.